Hello and welcome to the show. I'm your host Tamara Henry and this is In. It's the only way out. We have a very special guest today. I'm not going to tell you who it is just yet, but I will give you a little hint. It's a secret. To get you elevated and in the mood for today's show, we've got a video for you from the Elevate Film and Music Festival. Take a look. It's the luck of a draw, literally. You can get anything. I'm working on some visual effects shots, sound mixing, and doing a video conferencing with our composer. It's 10 o'clock, huh? We had a power outage. The, the new take we'd like of this guy. I have tape over the clock, so I actually don't know what time it is. No, that's on my to-do list. It's a big list. Choose the black door. I swear to God, she fits right into my soul. Elevating that is earth shaking, and our guest today is Drew Harriet, director of The Secret and co director of the Elevate Film and Music Festival. And I understand you put that trailer together. I did in 48 hours in the spirit of the festival. No kidding. Yeah, the, um, the Elevate Festival of Film and Music is a, is a new festival, and it's um, all of the work that's produced for the festival is elevating in some way, elevating emotions and awareness. And it's, it's just recently gone global. We've had films being made in India and Australia and different parts of the world. So uh, we just completed our fourth festival at the Kodak Theatre in Hollywood, home of the Academy Awards, and it was an amazing event. We'll be able to show you some clips a bit later, but it was really yeah. great. And we have a couple of still shots, a couple of pictures from the red carpet to take uh, yes. a look at. There is Bobby Fever, our event videographer. And who's that in the middle? That's and the, that's that me, your red oh, carpet host. Too, and all of the volunteers. We, how many volunteers do they have? Um, we, we call our volunteers elevators, actually, because they're all, they're all elevating. They're, um, there's about 40 or 50 of them. Yeah. Ah, yes. yeah, who all helped out this year. It was a, it was a big job. Okay. Mm. And uh, we have Mark Harris, who was one of the celebrity... Celebrity judges. He's the uh -huh. producer of Crash there. Uh -huh. Yep. And he's uh, continuing to make lots of more elevating films on his own. He is, with, uh, with Reverend Michael Beckwith, who was our host this year as well. His right. alter ego, who was dressed up as right. a ringleader because it was a whole circus theme. So Right. Director, yeah. Reverend, I mean, uh, producer, what's this? Director, producer, Reverend Michael Beckwith. He's got a big, long title. He, like he does. No, he's doc, <laughs> Dr. Reverend Michael Bernard Beckwith. That's okay, right. there yeah. you go. It's a mouthful. It <laughs> and uh, there you are with Nadia and Mickey. Yeah, Nadia, the festival producer, and Mickey, um, co-director and founder. So, yeah, uh, so it's just the three of you guys in charge there. Well, Elevate. we also have a couple of other producers who've come on board now too because it keeps expanding and growing. And so there's, um, there's also Daryl Merchant and Anurag. Who, and that was actually uh, that was yeah. the second festival where I was asked to judge and I became involved with the Elevate Festival because I was so impressed by the quality of the films and, um, and what's produced in 48 Hours. It's outstanding. I mean, it's amazing right. filmmaking. Some of the best so that's 48 hours in how it all started for you. Is the, at first you were a celebrity judge at the second Elevate Festival. There've been yeah, four. Yeah, they were they were trying to track me down after the secret and mm -hmm. um, and wanted to see if I would be able to be involved in the festival. And um, I found out about it just a few days before and became a judge mm -hmm. at the Ford Amphitheater. And it was a it was such an amazing night. It was really really fantastic. Yeah. And so we have a little bit more footage from that night, from the red carpet. Let's take a look at that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, you need to get ready to be elevated because we're going to make you cry. We're going to make you laugh. We're going to make you contemplate life. Those are all my favorite things. Those are my three favorite things. I, I mean, hey. You know, but that's what's so wonderful about it. It is a collaboration. You know, and then when everybody's out there for the common good of getting something out there that provokes conversation. And this is one of those rare things. I mean, commerce has infiltrated art and, and, and really suck the magic from it. And this is really art for art's sake and art for love and magic's sake. And it is a rarity in this day and age. And it's just such an honor to be able to be a part of it. So excited about it. You know, they're all our friends and they're fabulous. And I know there's going to be some really exciting and spiritually based film, so. I mean, this is a, a a parade of nonconformity, and I love that because it gets us back in touch with the beauty of what it is to be a human being, not a robot, not a conservative or a liberal, but a human being with all that it entails. The show, what the filmmakers have done and pulled together for us is the first time that we've gone global, so I'm incredibly excited and I'm just working to get these thousands of people that are waiting around the block into this place so we can start the show, and it's really amazing. <laughs> And on this very screen, you will witness many masterpieces that have been produced over the last seven days, especially for you. And even the artists are with us. Filmmakers, 22 of them from all over the world, from Detroit, Chicago. Could you please go and see this clown? Director of Secret, owner of LA Film, LA Festival of Film and Music, Vicky Willis. Thank you all so much from the bottom of our hearts for the support and for making this movement expand so rapidly. It's only the beginning. Thank you so much. This has been the culmination of hundreds and hundreds of people's intention that has made this night possible. And we are overwhelmed by the love that has beamed through this whole event and everyone that's come together to make these films possible. Thank you so much. We'll see you next year and all over the world. Good night. This is a colossal event, and like you said, it's the fastest growing festival. It's already spread worldwide. Tell us more about that again. Well, we, we like to complain about what's going right in the world. And so all of the films are a celebration of what's possible, of people that are doing extraordinary things. And I think these are the sorts of films that people are really craving at the moment because there's a lot of news about what's not going right in the world. Mm -hmm. So we complain about all the great things that are happening. <laughs> and, uh, and we had 22 films this year in different categories. There were commercials. First year we've done commercials actually because we realized that's another way that people can be elevated and there are lots of fantastic organizations that need commercials. So we did commercials, music videos, documentaries and drama. Um, narrative, traditional films. So, okay. Yeah. Now, speaking of music videos, you have you brought us a couple of clips from those as well. Let's take a look at those. On my own block, there is no Those are the music videos. Tell us about those. That was two of six you may have recognized. That was Alanis Morissette and India Ari. And um, they were actually both invited to be judges. And they said, well, can't we make a music video? And we said, well, sure. OK. <laughs> and so uh, it, was, it was actually meant to be 15 films. But so many people wanted to be involved that we'd said yes to some. And it just became 22 films. So it was a huge festival. They were all produced in 48 hours over the span of about a week. And so it was very busy. We were producing all of them. And, and we had directors all come in. And they don't know what they're going to be directing until they receive their project. So it's, mm -hmm. it's um, you know, emotions run high as they're standing yeah. there and see, receiving a 10-page script that they need to direct mm -hmm. in 48 hours and, and turn Imagine. into us. So it, we're, we're like kids in a candy store when they come in. We're getting 22 projects. Right. And they're all amazing. 